Welcome to the show! Go on, let's start. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a kids' TV Alison says, I'm absolutely buzzing. I tried on a couple of dresses that didn't fit this time last year. I've had a gym membership and done the diets, but neither really worked. I've been doing CrossFit for approximately two months now, and this is the result so far. My question is, how do I start to see muscle definition? Cool. All right, so first of all, awesome work, Alison. Well done. You've been smashing it in the gym, and you deserve the results you've got so far. Um, in terms of seeing muscle definition, just carry on doing what you're doing. So muscle definition will come as your body fat lowers, as you continue to build muscle, um, and eventually you'll start getting to a point where your body fat is low enough and you're, you've got enough muscle tone to reveal your hard work. So carry on doing what you're doing, carry on eating well like I know you are, carry on training hard because you are crushing it in the gym and just be patient. Um, I would say to you literally don't change anything. Um, I know you want results now like everybody does but if you don't change anything you carry on doing what you're doing it's going to happen. Um, so don't try and change anything, don't try and find a shortcut or rush to muscle definition because that's where you're heading anyway so make sure you're in a calorie deficit make sure you're staying accountable and being consistent with your diet keep on getting in the gym consistently and muscle definition will come next is that like a general answer for everyone then yes yeah, so that's a general answer for everyone in terms of getting leaner and losing body fat be consistent don't try and change everything all the time. Just stick with something for a few weeks. If it doesn't work, tweak it. Beautiful. Can you do specific exercises to lose weight from particular body parts? For example, your calves. No, <laughs> unfortunately not. So this is known as spot reduction. And spot reduction is, I'm not gonna say a myth because I've never actually heard anybody claiming that it is true. Maybe they do. Have you seen it? It's just hopefulness. Yeah, I think. it's just. I think it's just a lot of hope, and I think some marketing of products does hint that it's possible. So when you see like ab machines on infomercials at like three six in the morning, second abs. <laughs> so yeah, so six second <laughs> abs or whatever, or like ab machines at three in the morning on random channels um, on TV, then they do hint at being able to help you reveal abs but the fact is similar to my previous question it takes time consistency to lower your body fat and you will have stubborn areas body fat will come off certain parts of your body first and there'll be areas of your body where it'll come off last which are probably the areas that you want to lose it from because they've always been the most stubborn areas of your body so it is a pain but body fat will come off your body from where it, wherever it wants to come off your body. And eventually it'll come off all around, but there will be certain areas that take longer than others. No exercises are going to target body fat from certain areas. So if you do abs every day, that's not going to make you burn more fat from your stomach. Your body will just take it from everywhere as long as you're in a calorie deficit. If you work legs every day, you won't burn fat from your legs, you'll just burn fat from wherever your body wants to take it, again, as long as your nutrition is in order. Um, having said that, obviously, if you work on certain body parts, if you're resistance training, then you will build muscle tone underneath your body fat so that when you drop body fat, you will have like an athletic, lean physique. So do carry on or start uh, resistance training that doesn't have to be heavy weights just train you can use your body as resistance um, do whatever you enjoy and then as your body fat lowers eventually it will come off everywhere including stubborn parts of your body next 
How often should I be training per week? So that's totally dependent on what your goals are, what your lifestyle is, what your lifestyle allows. So for most people, three to five times a week is fine. If I have some clients who train twice a week and we just tailor it so that they get most bang for their buck twice a week just because that's all their lifestyle permits. If you were training for a physique competition or a CrossFit competition, then obviously we need to be getting you in five, six times a week, maybe even training twice a day on some of those days. But if you're just training to lose body fat, look good, improve the quality of your life, feel good, be healthy, that kind of thing, then three to five times a week is fine. For newer clients that maybe haven't trained much, I usually recommend three times a week. And then if they're recovering well between sessions and they're not constantly sore, add a day. And if you're still recovering fine, still making progress, add a day again. And as long as you're making progress, add a day. But the moment you add a day and you end up sore or you feel run down, then take it away again. It's all just testing. So most things to do with nutrition, fitness, um, health are just giving things a try, seeing how you get on and then adjust from there. Don't be completely rigid and stick to a certain answer. So if somebody tells you that you, that you have to train five days a week, but then that's leaving you beat up and sore, then just adjust. There's no right or wrong answer, but for most people, for the results that most people want, just looking great and feeling great, Three as a minimum, so you're getting enough done to make a difference. And probably no more than five, just so that you're recovering enough. Next. Leanne asks, I'm getting better at pulling techniques, but I'm terrible at pushing. What can I do at home to help me get stronger at these lifts? So, she's getting better at pulling, but not pushing. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, Leanne... Again, I'd just say continue what you're doing in the gym, but if you want to do extra work on your pushing movements at home, things like press-ups, working towards progressions of handstand press-ups, so pike press-ups with your feet elevated and things like that. But at the same time, I'd say don't, don't sweat it too much. You're already getting in the gym, I think three to five times a week. You're doing enough. You're going to have areas of your body that, or areas of your strength that, don't progress as quickly as other areas of your body um, and areas of your strength. But as long as it's all going in the right direction, then don't stress too much about it. It will happen, it'll just take time. But if you do want to work at, work at pushing movements at home, if you've got kettlebells or weights or dumbbells or whatever, then you can do seated press, standing press, push press, the same kind of things that you're doing in the gym anyway. Um, I'd just do like, three or four sets of 10 or three or four sets of five, depending on what weights you've got at home, maybe twice a week. If you haven't got any equipment or anything to use as weights, then press ups. Again, just do three or four sets of 10 twice a week. Or if you really struggle with press ups, just see how long it takes you just to do 20 reps. Do it in as few sets as possible twice a week and then try and do it in less and less sets. So you get to a point where you can do 20 in one set. Um, but like I said, don't overthink it. Don't worry about it too much. Um, and just be patient. It'll come. Um, it's just not necessarily going to come right now. Done? Yeah. Bye. Bye, friend. <laughs> Bye, friend. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Snapchat. See you there.